Hey, this is Jake from Mito. I'm gonna show you how you can explore and graph data using Mito. So for those who don't know, Mito is a spreadsheet extension into Jupyter. Essentially what that means is you can call this visual spreadsheet here into your Jupyter environment, and every edit you make will generate the equivalent Python code. So to call it, all we have to do is run import Mito sheet and then Mito sheet sheet. But before that, we have to import the package. I'll go to the Mito documentation really quickly just three lines, all we have to do is pip install a Mito installer, uh, and then within the installer, run the install command and then open up JupyterLab. And then again, just run these two lines and we'll see the interface. So to reiterate, everything we do in this interface is gonna generate the equivalent Python below. First thing I wanna do, of course, is enter some data into the tool. So I can do this by either passing in an existing data frame. The nice thing here is that you can pass in a data frame from any point in your analysis. So at any point in your analysis, you can call in the Mito sheet, and visualize and interact with your data frame that way. And again, it's gonna generate the code for you for each edit you do. We can also import from our files directly. So I'll click add file from a current folder. I'm gonna add two files from my local folder here. I'll close this and now I'm gonna uh, work with this data a little bit. So what I'm interested in here for this data is these divisions. And I wanna see what the total, uh, where are those? Oops. the total population for each division is here. But obviously these two columns are in different data sets, so we're gonna to have to bring these together at some point. But the first thing I wanna do is just look at these columns a little bit more intently. I'll click this column, I'll select this button here, and then I'm gonna to go to the summary stats for that column, and I can really quickly visualize um, this column and the distribution here. So we can see that the central division has 211 instances, um, the Pacific division has 148 instances, and so on and so forth. And then below, I can get some summary stats for this column as well. Close this. And I'm gonna look at the summary stats for this column here. Quickly again, just click the same buttons. We have the frequencies um, here for, for these populations. Now I'll close this. And again, because these columns are in different data sets, I really wanna bring them together into the same data set before I create a graph out of them. So I'll just use our merge modal here. This allows us to really easily join data sets together. The merge key is the column that I'm going to join on. I can select what sheets I want to join from, which is zip code and airport pets, and then we can select what columns we want to keep. We don't need all of these columns here, so I can just get rid of the ones that I don't need. And here we go. Here's our joined data set. And now within this data set, we can do a pivot table. But actually, really quickly, I want to show you that when we did join this data set and created this new data frame here, DF3, we generated the code for that join right here. So here's the code we generated in doing that join. You can see this is a good bit of code um, that might take a little while to write out by hand, but in our tool, you can generate it in just a few seconds. So Mito is really great for quickly generating your code and doing your analysis. Because I wanna work with the sums of these populations as they relate to the divisions, I wanna do a pivot table first to get that aggregation down. So I'm gonna click the pivot button. Here under rows, I'm going to put the division and as value, I'm going to put population and then I'm gonna select my sum. And here's our pivot table. I'll close this and we'll see the generated code for that pivot table. Within the pivot table, I can also filter if I want. So we have these different divisions. Let's say I just want to look at the divisions that contained um, for example, here we go, Pacific and Pacific North. And again, we would generate the code for that filter. I actually wanna look at all the divisions, so I'm gonna get rid of this filter, close that, and we'll see the code disappears. So we're always showing an accurate view of what we've done in the code below. Now I can graph this, so I'll click the graph button. As my x-axis, I'm gonna put my division, and as my y-axis, I'm going to put population. You can see we make a really nice bar chart really quickly, and we get to see those different divisions and the sum of the populations for each. I can also change my graph types. We could do a scatter plot, we could do a histogram. I'll show a box plot, which is really great. Let's say we just wanna look at one column here. We just wanna look at the population, the sums of populations. We can see a box plot showing the quartiles and some, some important values there. So within Mito, you can really quickly analyze, explore, and graph data, and it's generating the equivalent code for each step you make. So I really hope you try it. Please reach out if you have any questions or thoughts. Thanks.